starting my day out with a raw smoothie. So I'm about to whirl it up. I've got, it's a four point smoothie. Got one and a half cups of this cashew milk. Look at this. 20 grams of protein, less than one gram of sugar, loaded with 44 superfoods. That's this stuff, really good. All right, and this is vanilla. I also have about five strawberries in here, lots and lots of spinach, um, ice water, what is it? One tablespoon of flaxseed meal, a half of a frozen banana. All right, it's Sunday and I'm just checking in. Um, now the smoothie that I made, I actually took it to church and I was, I, I seem to be eating on the run these days. But, um, and I shared some of it with my hubby and then I forgot to close the lid on it and he kicked it over during I services. Yes. <laughs> And I like, ah! I went down and I was like trying to clean it up. I had a couple of Kleenexes in my purse. So, um. It's like the number one rule not to. I know. Take we're not supposed to it. take food in there. And, and I, yeah. I, well, I should have snapped it closed, but I didn't because I was like, oh, I'm just going to pick it up again and drink it. And dang it, um, it's a good thing that the carpet is dark colored. Anyway, now I know better, right? I should listen to the rules at church. Um, Anyway, so I only drank half of it, which is two points, not four points. And now we're going to meet our good friends here at the Macaroni Grill for lunch. Um, and so this is my uh, cooked meal of the day. And um, then it's back to raw for the rest of the day. So we'll see you in a little bit. For dinner today, I have a big salad. I took these power greens. And then I used my chopper, Mazaluna chopper, so I got it pretty small. Um, and then I have an apple, a small peach, a handful of blueberries, a carrot, um, like a third of a banana. What else do I have in here, I think? Um, and then I made this quick dressing in here I'm gonna pour on top, which is another small peach and about five grapes. And it's, um, it's tangy and it's sweet. And I'm going to add a couple of these bites that I'm going to break up on top. These are so good. I got these at the Raw Cafe. They are raw. They're um, organic. And it's got all this great stuff in here. Um, different seeds and um, extract and things like that. A little bit of dates and stuff. So it's going to add a little bit more flavor to this. And it's just going to be a really nice um, and satisfying meal for dinner. With an apple? A yeah. shark man with an apple. Yeah. That's really cool. Ferris! Ferris! <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> Were you jumping? What are you jumping for? Give me this. Give me this. Give me this, Ferris. Give me this. Come here. You know what a difference bad lighting can make? I mean, here I'm like looking up at the light and it's like, oh, it doesn't look so bad. And then I go like this and all of a sudden I get raccoon eyes. Hmm. So this is it. I guess I could probably talk like this. Everybody, it is the end of Sunday and I didn't vlog a lot today. I'm sorry about that. On Sundays we spend a lot of time with family and I forget to use my telephone. <laughs> so, or, forget to use my camera right but anyway um, I wanted to end the day answering a question I had a comment from Debbie Ann so I wanted to thank you for the question Debbie Ann um, and she had asked me about you know why is it that I'm doing um, you know high raw basically raw except for the one meal a day and um, that it she also said that it seemed rather complicated um, to me, it's not complicated uh, because I, I know what I want to do um, and I'm doing this for myself. I needed a challenge for the month of June and I tailored the challenge um, to myself given 
the perimeters that I know my limitations and my weaknesses and so I needed to do this challenge this way and that was number one um, to take added refined sugars out this month the reason why I did that is because it seems like I, I'll go a certain amount of time where I feel like I'm okay with refined sugars but then it gets out of bounds and it just feels like I want it all the time and it's like really hard for me to pull back and I don't like feeling like that and then I what comes with increased sugar is inflammation and all kinds of other things that I have to deal with and I didn't want that I wanted to get away from it and I wanted to depend more on healthy natural sugars again and just telling myself I want to depend on those and trying to do that every day is sometimes it's just really hard and it doesn't happen unless I take just totally remove it um, and if I totally remove it then the you know the clouds can clear and I could see a little better what I'm doing and then you know eventually maybe I can add it in a little bit more um, eventually but right now I don't feel strong enough I feel I have to get away from it so that's why I decided to take the sugars out the refined sugars for this month Sorry about that my nose always itches when I make a video um, okay so number two um, the high raw harsh portion of it of the challenge let's see um, and I know I talked about this before but um, I wanted to go a little bit more in depth in case um, somebody else is like not really understanding why I'm doing this. Um, the, again, you know, the reason why I am doing all raw except for one cooked meal per day is because I can't do um, all raw because it's just, you know, it's a little too much for me. And I've done that in the past and it is it can be very stressful um, and it can be very hard to get all of the uh, components that you need to stay healthy and well balanced um, and so for me that would just be too much so I said you know what I'll do everything else raw except for the one meal because I'm having you know once in a while I get really lazy and I don't want to make the salad I don't want to eat the salads and my plate starts to look like different shades of beige and that's not good and that's not really healthy white and beige and brown you know and and then um i end up you know i i go to the store and i buy fruits and veggies and then they sit and they rot in the fridge right i don't want that i want to be i want to eat them and with this cha challenge of going all raw except for the one meal it really helps me to make full use of them and you know i mean because and i'm catching myself in the evening where normally i'd be like oh i just want a couple of chips or something guess what i can't have it because it doesn't fit it doesn't fit into any part of what i'm doing um and if i am hungry i have to go for a fruit or a vegetable right and if i'm going to add nuts to that i'm certainly going to be really careful with the nuts because you really put on weight with nuts and it's got a lot of fats you have to like use them sparingly um but it just it's really keeping me from get, grabbing the stuff that i used to grab that wasn't as good and it wasn't as healthy and you know there's there'll be a time and place for it but it's not right now i need um this clearing right now to get my head straight to start over again um so that's why i'm doing it it's not complicated at all for me i think maybe it sounded a little complicated because i said i was going to be doing raw fruits and veggies nuts and seeds for the first two weeks uh for you know most of the day except for the one meal and then at the latter part of the month the last two weeks of the month i would be okay adding in cooked vegetables as well um, so for me I think that's relatively simple but um, uh, you know it's just it, it's just made I'm gearing it so that I can get back on track basically because there's some things one good thing about um, um, I have done simply filling I've done I track bites I've done Weight Watchers freestyle and smart points I have not done points plus yet um, I don't know if I would want to do that or not I've got some um, cookbooks that are points plus and so I always thought that maybe at one time or another I would probably try it 
but the thing is, is that since I started Weight Watchers, um, I've learned that you can have everything in there as long as you count it, which in that, you know, in some aspects, that's, that's really good. It helps, it helps you balance, you know, what you're having. Um, but at the same time, I myself have a tendency to really love sweets and breads and carbs, and um, I can get out of bounds you know very easily um, and sometimes I just have to stay away from something in total in order to maybe regroup and come in slow again and do it balanced um, and be more natural about it right and so that's what I'm doing now too is I'm taking a step back from the protein bars and you know the chocolate covered protein bars and the you know the cool whip light and the and all the desserts that are like you know only so many points but yet they're made out of things that i really don't want to depend on right which is different types of uh sugars and oils and things like that that's in there even though it's low in points it's not something that i want to depend on right and so I know on the weekends, like when I go out um, and we go to a buffet or something like that, and I get a little free with my dinners or that one cooked meal during the week, I intend to pull it back and be a little bit more healthy about that one cooked meal. And so, um, you know, I, I, then this is life again. You know, there's going to be parties and things like that. I don't want to party all day long, but I do want to have one meal that if I need to be a little more flexible, I can do that. But then I need to get back on track. And the raw right now for the other meals is really helping me to do that. So um, I feel great um, uh, that that salad was really wonderful. And, and it's really forcing me to find some more natural um, items, right? So instead of a dressing, because the dressings that I have, I mean, they're all like... Uh, pasteurized so they're really not raw and they have a bunch of stuff in there that I really don't want to have even if they're low in points so you know just blending up one peach and like five grapes together made a real tangy and sweet um, dressing and it was perfect for my salad I don't know why I haven't done that before um, so it's forcing me to find some really wonderful alternatives um, but anyway just wanted to touch base with you um, and I appreciate every question that's out there because it gives me the opportunity to kind of expand on it a little bit. Um, different strokes for different folks and we all have to find what works for us and I feel like you know I'll be 52 this year I'm totally fine and comfortable with what I'm doing um, and I'm still learning you know but um, I, it's, it's funny because here I'm at this age right now where I've already been through menopause, and so my body is like reacting differently than it ever has before. And so I'm learning that. I'm at a really odd point in my life because I feel like I'm at the point where I still have an appetite, I still want to work out, and, and I still love food and I still want to eat, but my body doesn't want as much food as I have in the past. And so I have to somehow try to find what's going to work for me because as I get I think as I get older like in 20 years I probably won't want to eat this much you know what I mean but I still have an appetite but yet my body is aging so my body's saying you don't need all that food but I still love all that food so I have to do some things to try to um, figure it out and and figure out what's going to work now right in the next 10 years or whatever um, but anyway so thanks for coming along with me I just wanted to talk to you a little bit more about that um, I will let you go for tonight love you guys and again Debbie Ann thank you for your question really appreciate that all right I'll see you guys later bye